I'm just going to get straight to it. How on earth do you get such great actors involved in films that are very, very low budget? Well, I want to say it's because it's such an amazing, fabulous, wonderful script. But actually, the script wasn't written when I approached them. So, right. <laughs> so I can't tick that box. Um, well, I think the, the key is, um, because they're of such a stature, um, you kind of only approach actors of that level if you think they might consider doing a low-budget film. And so some of that level of actors would be automatically struck off because you just know they're not going to even entertain the idea of a, a low-budget film. But there are certain actors, like Bob Hoskins, for instance, or Brenda Blethyn, who I think might be potentially open to doing a low-budget, providing you're not going to utilise too much of their time. And so with both Ruby Blue, my last film, and with The Calling, we ended up shooting entirely around the lead actor's schedule because they offered a window, what they call a window, um, which is a short period of time which they're willing to kind of give for perhaps doing a low-budget film that, that um, isn't going to interfere with any of the other contracts they have. Right. So I think it's key to work that out first before you approach somebody right. uh, to sort of decipher whether they might be up to doing something like right. that. And you can usually work that out by looking at their past history, the kind of films they've made and who they've worked with and the directors they've worked with. I'm sure it's the same in Hollywood. You could probably approach an actor who's worked with Woody Allen. You might assume that they might be up for doing right. low-budget right. features. And you mentioned scheduling. Is that something that <clears throat> you get involved in? Because I, I believe you've got an, a kind of interesting way that you, you... Obviously, if you have to work around actor schedules, you have to be really schedule savvy. Yeah. Some directors aren't. I mean, do you have anything to say about scheduling? Yeah, I, I cannot understand how any independent filmmaker particularly who works on low budgets, wouldn't be totally 100% absolutely engaged with the scheduling from the beginning. Um, I mean, Elaine and I, who's my producer, Elaine Wickham, we work very closely together on the schedule and on the budget. So um, I'm the best person to schedule. I know how fast I can shoot. I know what I'm capable of. I work with the same cinematographer. So he and I work at a certain speed. <laughs> and we kind of... I mean, I had some young actors... Um, in The Calling. I also had some young actors before. And I think with the young act when I've got young actors in the scene, I might give them more time to shoot. But I pretty much will shoot on one take. Two right. takes maximum. Right. So I, you're really rocking through yeah, it very fast. If I don't shoot that fast, I can't move the camera. And then my wonderful editor, a genius as she is, Emma Collins, uh, is going to find it more difficult because she's not got very much to choose from. At least if I'm shooting fast, I've got a choice of shots to utilise if I just stick to one or two takes. But with actors like Bob Hoskins, that's easy, really. Right. Um, and with certainly with the first two films, the dialogue was improvised, which is a headache for the um, editor again, because <laughs> it's not always going to be exactly the same. Yeah. But the more experienced the actor is, and the more experienced with improvisation, I mean, Pauline McLean, who was in my first film, is extraordinarily experienced with improvisation for her comedic skills. Um, and is known as a comedian who does a lot of improvisation. So she was pretty much spot on each time, and Bob Hoskins will be spot on each time. Right. This is if you leave them to improvise their dialogue. Right. Whereas with some of the younger actors, they won't necessarily be aware that they've got to try and repeat verbatim in order for the right. editor to be able so to edit. So how, how, what, what advice would you offer a, a, an independent filmmaker who's trying to get, say, a Bob Hoskins, or somebody who's a bit independent film friendly, how should you make that approach? Make sure you've got an experience and history that you can show them in a volume of work, even if it's short films. And, I mean, don't approach an A-list actor if you haven't got an award-winning short film, I would say. Right. <laughs> then forget about the A-list actors. Right. But... Because they're taking a risk as well, aren't they? Absolutely. Being with, you know, Huge risk. Yeah. Huge. I'm the biggest uh, flaw in the project, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Um, they're taking a leap of faith, I like to call it. Um, so I would say be really careful how you approach them as well and be very careful when you speak to agents and all that kind of thing. And no matter how big a temptation it is to cast all your friends in parts, especially if you've got friends who are actors, don't cast them unless they're really good actors. Right. Would be key. Right. Now, if you're getting someone like Bob Hoskins, how do you work in rehearsals? I mean, even on, a, on your average film, it's a Chance tough one. Chance would be a fine thing. There you go. Yeah, rehearsals, forget it. Is we that, that happens on set in front of the camera? Yeah, I rehearse on camera. Right. Um, I pretty much shoot the rehearsals. I don't necessarily tell the actors I'm shooting the rehearsals. I don't think the actors mind if you shoot rehearsals, because sometimes something exciting might happen. Um, I mean, we did, with Ruby Blue, we had, I think we had three days rehearsal. Um, but it wasn't really extensive, and we didn't really have the space to rehearse 
um, or block and stuff like that. It's much more, my rehearsal is much more about talking. And we had two days rehearsal for the calling and I had a huge cast on the calling. It's an ensemble cast. So, um, and also they had to do certain elements in the rehearsal which weren't necessarily to do with the narrative. Like my nuns in the calling, for instance, they all had to sing Latin um, so hymns and uh, chant Latin hymns. Right. So we had a choral advisor who came in and he and I decided which choral works we were going to use right. that were Latin matins, uh, Latin particular prayers and, and chants and I deciphered which ones I wanted and the, uh, were appropriate for that moment in time in the film. Even if the audience don't know about that, I know about it and any Catholics watching will right. know about it. So right. it had to be the right kind of right. hymn or the right kind of chant okay. in a certain time of day. So it, just going out of rehearsals into the experience of being on set, how important is it to have a space where actors can go and be peaceful and away from the kind of... Because obviously on a low-budget film it's, it's slightly more frantic than your, your average film. Is that important? Yes, very, very important, especially for that calibre of act. You have to be totally, completely, utterly respectful at all times. Um, they expect that treatment anyway, not in any diva way, but it's usually because they're, they're working. They don't look like they're working because they're sitting in a corner being quiet, but they're working. They're completely engaged in the character and they're engaged in the next scene. They know where their stories come from, where it's going to, and if you're a good enough director, you'll be able to engage in a conversation about that as well. Right. Um, and sometimes they're relaxed enough to chill out and then they just need a chill out place so they can go somewhere else away from everybody, away from the noise and away from the crew and the unit and everything that's going on just so they can relax, even if they want to play cards. Or in, in the case of Ruby Blue, Bob would invariably be playing with the two kids that we had in the film uh, and having great fun with them. Right. Uh, but somewhere to relax is very important.